Hi Pisces, this is Jackie Tomlin here with your weekly taroscope. This is for the week of August 1st, 2016. Now mind you, these are just broad generalized views that may resonate with you, may not. I don't want to confuse anyone. You actually got two videos from me this week, okay? This particular video is for the first week of August. What is already up is for your entire month of August, okay? Now, weekly I post the weekly videos as well as your weekend videos, so I hope you will stop by and check those out. If you're trying to contact me, please do so directly on my website. It is www.ms-swami.com, and there's a link to that video, the link to that website below this video. So, Pisces, this is for your week of August 1st, 2016. Okay, Pisces, we began with a major arcana of the Empress, followed by another major arcana of the Death card, looking at the Six of Cups, we're looking at the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Chariot, my favorite card in the deck, also a major arcana. Pisces, you've got a lot of energy swirling around you this week. Let's break this down, then we'll pull some more for you. We're starting with Empress, we're starting with the Death card, and we're starting with the Six of Cups. The Empress indicates a happy home life. Uh, for some of you, this could also indicate uh, some other cards, so it could be news of a pregnancy. The Death card shows the end of a negative cycle and the new beginnings for you. And they're very positive, and a lot of these are in the home front, okay? The Six of Cups opens up communication for some of you guys this could be someone from your past a happy renewal uh reuniting with someone that you haven't talked to in a very very long time but a very strong communication card for you guys this week moving forward we're looking at the knight of wands we're looking at the seven of swords and of course we're looking at the major kind of the chariot Beginning with the Knight of Wands, there's a lot of movement around you this week. And for some of you, this actually indicates, <coughs> excuse me, a residential move. This could be some of you moving or someone moving into the home. But there is movement around you this week. <coughs> the Seven of Swords. Don't trust everyone. Be careful who you open up to. There's some deception around you. There's someone that's not being completely honest with you. The chariot indicates to me that you may call somebody's bluff on that this week. Okay? So moving forward, Pisces, we are looking at the Nine of Wands. We're looking at another major arcana of the world. And we're looking at, a, um, not a major arcana, but the Page of Wands. We'll give you one following that of the Two of Swords. Nine of Wands indicates that you may sometimes feel that the obstacles are stacked against you. I actually don't see it being that way. It looks like, you know, there was a rest period and time for the world to turn for those new beginnings to come into place. And I do see them coming into place. This indicates a message. Uh, there again, we go back to someone from the past, someone there that's willing to assist. Happy renewal, things of those type. Shows that you have upcoming decisions to make. Pisces, overall... Let's look at what we got here in your major arcanas for the week. The Empress, the Empress, the Death card, the Chariot, the World. Guys, this is an awesome reading for you. This is new beginnings. This is things transpiring on the home front that are very positive. So sit back and enjoy. Thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye, Pisces.